Hello everyone. This is our course to learn the basics of C programming language. Today's chapter is function. Here's the contents of today's lecture. We are going to learn about pointer and array using pointer. Then we are going to solve one example and wrap it up. Let's start with the pointer. When calling function, you can pass the required data as an arg argument, and there are two ways to pass the data, call by value and call by reference. We will learn the method of call by value first. This is a method of copying the value of the variable passed as an argument to the parameter within the function. Parameters initialized with these copied values are completely separated from those passed in the argument. Therefore, change of parameters within a function has no effect on the variables passed to the argument. Let's see with an example code. In the main function, we pass the variable var to the function local by a method of call by value. In the local function, num increases by 10, but since the variable var is copied to the new parameter num, increasing the num value has no effect to the variable var, which is declared in the main function. So, as you can see in the result, variable still has a value of 10 after executing the function. The next method of passing the data to a function is called by reference. This method passes the address value of the variable, not the value of the variable as an argument. The parameter of the function stores the original address value of the variable passed as an argument. With this method, you can change the original value of the variable passed by the argument within the function. So, let's see with the example code. In the main function, we pass the address of a variable var to the function local. The function local should receive the address of a variable as an argument. So, when we declare the function, the type of the parameter should be a pointer type. In the local function, value of the variable num increases by 10. Since we passed the address of the variable, increasing the num value is effective to the original variable var, which is declared in the main function. So, as you can see in the result, the value of the variable is increased from 10 to 20. The next concept is a pointer of a pointer. Pointer of pointer means a pointer to a pointer variable. We can express the reference operator asterisk twice, also called a double pointer. As you can see it in the example code below, since the variable pptr num is st storing the address of the address of the variable num, we can get the num value by putting two asterisks right before the pptr num. Next part is array and pointer. The name of the array is same as a pointer except that it is a constant, be constant because its name cannot be changed. In addition to using the name of the array as a pointer, you can also use the pointer as the name of the array. As you can see in the code above, we can use the array variable like a pointer type variable. For example, if we want to get the second value of the array ARR, we can use both expression ARR1 and asterisk ARR plus 1. It performs a pointer operation with the name of the array to access each array element. Therefore, they give the same result. 
Next, we are going to compare the pointer array and the array pointer. Pointer array is array with pointer variables as array elements. In the code below, array is storing the each address of values 10, 20, and 30. And to get those values through the array, we can put asterisk operator before the elements of the array. Array pointer is a pointer that can point to an array. It's for pointing to an array of two dimensions or more. In the code below, variable PARR is an array pointer which is pointing to an array of size 3. So, we can store the two-dimensional array which is declared above. To summarize, the left one is an array pointer that points to a two-dimensional array that can store int type data, and the right one is a pointer array that points to an array of pointer variables that can point to integer type data. Lastly, let's practice with what we learned today. The goal is to make a function that returns the biggest value in array using pointer. Since we have to make a function, first, we will define the function named biggest num with the return type integer. This function will get an array as a parameter where we have to find the biggest value. We will declare this array as a pointer type parameter ARR. Then, declare a variable biggest which is initialized to any smallest value to store the biggest value. After that, compare the values in array with the variable biggest using for loop. We will update the biggest value every iteration. And when the for loop ends, we can return the biggest value. In the main function, we will create a result variable which will store the return value of the biggest num function. If you print out the result, the example will be solved. This is the end of today's class of C programming language. Thanks for watching this video, and if you have any questions, please leave comments.